Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Funders Global. In this particular video of MS Word course, I'm going to teach you how to print multiple letters and envelopes using mail merge feature in MS Word. Yes, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create multiple letters, whether it is offer letter, whether it is termination letter or whether it is any kind of resume or anything else, right? You can create multiple letters, multiple envelopes using mail merge feature and every document, every envelope will have different data right different name different address different phone number so how you can do this let's get into my ms word and understand it so guys as you can see right now i'm in my ms word software right so this is the demo offer letter which i've created let me just do one more thing let me add the heading here it says offer letter right and let me make this thing title and make it in center now it is looking good right so i've created a demo offer letter over here so that i can show you now let's say i'm creating a new camp uh, company right i'm forming a new company and i'm hiring multiple employees let's say i'm hiring 10 employees in one go or maybe 150 or maybe 1000 right now i want to print all the offer letters in one go right but there's a catch that every offer letter will have different designation different payout different joining date different name right so hi how i can add these things in my MS Word and how I can print all these documents in one go. Let's say I'm hiring a uh, thousand employees. So how I can print thousand offer letters, different offer letters, right? So this is the task we have to do now. So for that, first we have to go to mailings, right? So I've already talked about envelopes and labels. Now I'm going to talk about start mail merge. So I'm going to use mail merge feature to do this right but before that let me just show you one more thing here i have created the demo data which i'll be going to add right so you can do one thing you can create that particular data of your employees data home uh, name number or salary anything you want to add in your document right so you can create a separate excel data otherwise if you don't create you'll be able to create that particular data in ms word itself right so i've already shown you that how ms excel can open in ms word right so that will be done but uh, to show you just to show you that to save the time that i don't have to uh, write these names designation salary again in the video just to save the time i've cre already created the uh, ms excel file right now let me just do one thing let me save this file because i haven't saved this file now let me go to desktop and in desktop i'll be saving this as demo employee data right now hit the save button now my document has been saved now let me go back to my offer letter which i've created now i'll be selecting start mail merge option now these are the documents which i can use basically i can uh, print or i can create with different details right so i can go with letters i can go with email messages if you directly want to email these offer letters you can do that as well right if you want to create uh, different envelopes basically if you don't uh, if you want to print print envelopes with different different details or you can go with the labels as well right so for now i'm going with letters i've clicked on letter now what i have to do is i have to go to recipient because i have to add the recipients right so if i select the recipient now here do have i do have three options the first one is type a new list basically as i've uh, already told you that if you don't have existing data you can create a list here right and the second option says use an existing list so i've already created the data so i'll be going to use that then we have outlook contact option if you have your outlook account and uh, you have saved many contacts you can use those contacts as well but for now i'm going with existing list now in existing list i'm going to select desktop and here i have created demo employee data right so just clicked 
and this is the data basically this is the sheet right just hit the ok button now once the sheet has been added you will be able to see that write and insert fields option has been activated now right earlier it was uh, not activated now it has been activated now i'm gonna use all uh, the things basically all the data which i have added in my excel sheet i'm going to use with this option insert merge field so i'll be clicking on clicking on this and these are the data i have in my sheet name designation salary joining date address and contact number if i show you in excel sheet as you can see name designation salary joining date address and contact number so that same data i can see here so with the df i'll be adding the name as you can see here then in work profile i'll be adding designation in payout i'll be adding salary and in joining date i'll be adding oops yeah here is the joining date right so this is done now if i uh, if you want to uh, see the preview you just have to click on this preview button previews results and you'll be able to see the first name basically the first data first uh, first data which is in your excel sheet as you can see name designation salary joining date so same here you'll be able to see name designation salary payout and joining date right and if you want to see all the data you just have to click on this one by one second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth right so this is how you can do this now once you're done with your uh, add merging data you have to click on click on finish and merge once you click here you have multiple options the first one is edit individual document if you want to edit any particular document from these you can individually edit those documents right then the second option is print documents and the third option is send email messages right so you can send email messages to all that 10 100 200 or 500 or 1000 uh, employees their offer letter right but for now i am going with the print document option now once i click on print document option it is asking that all the documents you want to print or you just want to print the current record which is i'm on the fourth one so if you want to just print out this one you can do that as well or if you want to print any uh, specific order let's say you want to print from four to seven or maybe four to nine so you can do that as well but for now i'm going with all option right i've hit the ok button now it is uh, asking for the printer settings that which printer you want to select the page options the copies and all these things basically these are printer settings right and uh, once you are done with your printer settings just hit the ok button and your documents will be printed basically the uh, offer letters will be printed but right now i do i don't have the printer connected with my laptop that's why it is asking me to save this document so that i can print it later right so that's how you can use mail merge feature in order to uh, create multiple documents in one go right and same goes with envelopes as well let's say i want to show you let's say i'm showing you envelopes let me just delete these things now if i go to envelopes right now one more thing i'm showing you envelopes and if i click on envelopes the envelope setting will open in front of me right so these are the envelope settings basically uh, you can do some basic setting like font and uh, alignment and the envelope size envelope size right so there are multiple envelope size so i'm going with size 10 then you can set the font basically delivery and return address right now hit the ok now as i've already shown you that my default return address was already added in my envelope settings envelope settings you'll be able to see here right in envelope settings i've already uh, added my default return address that's why it is showing here now here you'll add the delivery address right basically the receiver's address so how you can do that first you have to select recipient 
use existing data obviously i do have existing data now go to desktop in desktop demo employee data click the ok button the same she sheet i want to select hit the ok and the may uh, write and insert field options has been activated now what things i want to add let's start let's say i want to add name first let me turn off the preview option right it was in the preview mode now hit the enter then i want to add their address then hit the enter again then i want to add their contact number right so that's how your envelope will be printed right so if you click on preview you'll be able to see all the details one by one like this right now once you are done with your envelope this is the delivery address uh, sorry this is the uh, return address and this is the uh, delivery or the receiver's address or this is you can say the sender as address as well both are same now hit the finish and merge now you get the same options that do you want to print it do you want to send emails or do you want to change any document individually so let me just go with print option and i'm going to print all again it is showing me the printer settings once you are done with printer settings hit the ok button and if you don't know what to change just connect your printer and hit the ok button right now as i've already show, uh, told you that i don't have connected the printer that's why it is asking me to save it so that i can print it later so that's how you use start uh, mail merge option in order to send multiple documents in one go and with dynamic data right where every document has different data so i hope you understood the process i hope you learned from this video and if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also don't forget to share this video with your needy friends who want to learn ms office whole ms office because we have ms powerpoint course ms excel course and this ms word course in our channel so if you have any needy friend who want to learn ms office please share this with them so that they can learn more efficiently and effectively with that said, I'll be meeting you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.